But thanks to Nathaniel Card for this lovely little comment. You're right, we have an amazing community, but I think it's 50-50, half of us and half of you guys. So you want a copy of Prince of Persia and we have another one to give away as well. All you need to do to get the next one is to leave your comments down below. And yeah, nice one Nathaniel, ping us an email and we'll sort you out. As we saw last week, there are a few games that haven't seen sales like this for as long as I can remember. So what are the best games on sale? Well, let's find out. Firstly, this sale mostly applies to the US regions. There are a couple of English ones in here as well, and a couple of physicals as well here in the UK. If you're not in the US regions, then you can actually buy eShop credit from another region and use a different eShop. Obviously, that's a bit of a faff, so I'll make sure quite a few of the Savaloys are actually here in the EU region. The remastered edition of Grim Fandango is only $2.99 in America at the moment. That's 80% off, and that's until February the 8th. It's a classic adventure game that comes from uh, Double Fine Studios and you play as Manny Calvera who is a travel agent at the Department of Death. With this remastered version they actually repainted all of the characters. They added in some dynamic lighting that wasn't previously there and they also redid the musical score. It was always a classic, it was a great adventure game back in the day but I never finished it back then so it has been nice to replay this again on Nintendo Switch and bar a slightly clunky control scheme it still actually holds up remarkably well, and it's nice to see that there is a physical edition of this as well if you're a physical collector. The sale for Grim Fandango Remastered goes on until February the 8th, as I say in the American regions. Now, there have been a few Marvel games over the years, some more successful than others, but I have in my mind one that covers a lot of the bases, and as I'm a bit older now as well, one that you can jump into at any time. Now my perfect game involves being able to create my own perfect team. Well Marvel Strike Force is a mobile squad RPG. You can basically battle with your favorite team of superheroes, as well as super villains, and you're trying to save the universe from Doctor Doom, and of course Apocalypse. You're doing missions to power them up, get stronger, unlock new gear and resources, and then also fight other players in PvP, which is a good laugh. Now, as I said, it's heroes and villains. You can unlock up to 17 total characters in the first 30 days, but they're also constantly releasing new ones, with this month in particular the release of the brand new Hive Mind team. Silver Surfer and Ghost Spider actually getting brand new symbiote versions. There are free character giveaways as well in January. Happy days. The January event is called Mechanical Marvel. You can unlock characters and costumes from the Marvel movies, TV shows, comics for a limited time this month. If you use the QR code or click the link in the description, use our code VenomGift that you can see on the screen, you'll get 50 Venom shards, 500 power cores and 5 premium orbs. You'll unlock exclusive characters for free just by logging in. So yeah, celebrate the release of Marvel Studios Echo by unlocking Echo for free. And a big thanks to those of you, I know there's quite a, a big group actually that seem to just click our links, support the things that we're doing because they want to support the channel and we really do appreciate that. Then there's one for our physical collectors over here in the UK and that's Octopath Traveler 2 which is down 56% to its cheapest ever price over at Game UK taking it to 22 quid. Now you might have heard the recent controversy over here. Game used to sell physical but they used to sell pre-owned physicals and they've actually completely stopped all of their pre-owned sales which is a big issue for collectors really. Having said that the next best price I can find is over at Amazon at $24.99 and in America I mean I can't find anything nearly close to this at the moment. So yeah, if you're a physical collector here in the UK, Octopath Traveler 2 is an amazing and I think slightly underrated sequel that uses that HD 2D art style and, as the title suggests, eight different storylines which overlap to eventually come together at the end. Brilliant Square Enix storytelling, lovely art style and a really enjoyable game, but yes, I would say you need to have played the first game to fully appreciate this. Nino Kuni is 80% off in America until February the 8th and I think this is one where you need to push past the first I'd even go as far as saying five hours before it fully gets its hooks in and then that feeds into the main game which is a traditional RPG again featuring an open world slightly faster paced combat but as I say it just took longer than usual for it to get its hooks into me and I've seen many people say I tried to play Nino Kuni just didn't get on with it and I totally understand that it was one where I had to persevere beyond where I would usually say uh, this isn't this isn't for me because obviously I was trying to finish it for review you and I'm glad I did because by the end of it I was really thoroughly invested and you're looking at around about 60 to 100 hours to do everything your biggest issue will probably be actually finding the time as the backlog is looking a little bloated <laughs> the sale for that one in the US regions goes on as I say until February the 8th 
Armello is such a gem on Switch. This one's down 70% in America. That's the cheapest it's ever been till February the 8th. And it's a very cool game. You're essentially trying to overthrow the king and it's like a hexagonal, almost board game strategy with an eventual goal of reaching the center and overthrowing the king. It has the tactics elements of like a, a card game with that strategy that I mentioned and feeling like a board game and an RPG mechanic as well. You choose to be one of the different clan members and they're all anthropomorphic creatures You've got a number of different strategic choices you can make from hiring different people, using a variety of different magical items. But while you're doing this, the other players on the board are also trying to achieve the same goal, sometimes working together, sometimes working against you. And it's just a very cool concept that comes together nicely. Now, as I say, Armello, that's 70% off until February the 8th. Another equal gem is Felseal Arbiter's Mark, which is 75% off, down to $7.49 until February the 8th. This is one of those... Um, like tactical turn-based RPGs, and it starts out so well. You're thrust into the story, but it manages to hook you in quickly, which is quite a difficult thing to do. There are 40 different story encounters throughout the game, and it features 20 different classes, each of which has their own abilities. Now, it's one of the things I absolutely loved about Triangle Strategy, was how many different classes they crammed into that while still keeping them feeling interesting and unique to play as. They've done that here, but they also have gone, I would say, a step further in that you've also also got like over 200 different pieces of equipment and gear that you can apply to your troops to change the way that those battles play out and they're not just things that you buy in the shops you can also scavenge them from the corpses of your enemies or even craft those yourself in that regard it gives it a slightly greater depth to some of its contemporaries throw in the fact i think the art style is beautiful it's very striking and that storyline is just well worth experiencing without it being too convoluted. As I say, Felsil Arbiter's Mark is on sale at 75% off until February the 8th. Disney's Illusion Island is down to its cheapest ever price, that's 30% off. This was so much better than I expected it to be. Now it takes the Metroidvania genre and kind of makes um, almost like a Rayman Legends type experience. It's not cheap, it's $27.99 which is 30% off, but it's one of those that you can play with a group of you and you can have your kids along for the ride because there's no real threat of death. So if they're not quite doing what they need to be, you can carry them in a sense. Now where the difficulty comes in and it's well it's kind of difficulty is it's almost like um, a parkour it's all about the fluidity of movement bouncing off surfaces jumping over obstacles and collecting different keys for doors and things i really enjoyed this but particularly so as i say playing in co-op the sale for disney illusion island goes on until february the 8th like many of these in this big sale You've now got the Red Dead Redemption sale that we had over here in the EU. That takes Red Dead Redemption down to, I think it's $34.99, and that includes the DLC campaign as well, The Undead Nightmare. When this came up in sale, I think it was a few months ago now, maybe around the Christmas time. Actually, that was a month ago, wasn't it? Exactly. We had quite a lot of comments of people that had tried it for the first time and were just blown away. The Switch is obviously older hardware now, and uh, having visuals like this, it's actually quite impressive, even though this ran on the was it the 360 back in the day? It's fair to say that this is a much nicer looking version running at full HD and it maintains a smooth frame rate throughout which is also very welcome. I'm kind of intrigued to see whether the rumours about this 8 inch LCD Nintendo Switch be like if they're actually true but it's kind of a Nintendo move right? Like the XL versions of other devices it goes bigger but maintains a lot of the same things. It might be slightly more powerful I'm sure. I'm sure it will be more powerful and then what they'll do is they'll release the OLED model six to nine months later won't they well probably a little longer than that they'll ship their 14 million units probably in a couple of days and then they'll uh quietly begin producing another model that you can purchase and then change the colors every couple of months but Red Dead Redemption right now is a nice little pickup and there's also a physical of that as well Paleo Pines sees its first proper sale. It's down 25% to £17.24. And I'm pleased to see it, honestly. And it's also nice, I can say that they have been patching this up. There have been at least two or three patches since it came out. Now, if you like dinosaurs and you like farming sims, then you're going to love this. I reviewed it. I didn't feel like it did anything particularly stand out, but then it also didn't do anything particularly wrong. You create your own little dinosaur sanctuary, improving it as you go along, customising your character, and doing little quests and missions for people you know how these games work but if you have a particular penchant for dinosaurs then this will be the one for you and paleo pines may find a way onto your nintendo switch that sale goes on until january the 31st 
Great to see Ultra Age, the action game from the small team, down 60% to $11.99. If you like things like Devil May Cry, this definitely has some vibes of that one. It's set in the distant future. Basically, there are no resources left on Earth, you know the drill, and you play as a young whippersnapper called Age, and he's joined by a little robot called Helvis and he's on the search for any life on Earth. What was most impressive to me about this was, well, I couldn't believe that a small team had made a, an action game so fluid, but also that looked this good. Now, I let itself down, really, because in the final chapter, they, they make an age-old blunder, the old repeat-all-the-bosses technique. But still, I think on a much-reduced sale price like this is, it's still an experience worth playing through, and I'm really excited to see what they do with their next outing. Now, as I say, Ultra Age is down 60% to just 11.99 until February the 8th. I think this was the hidden gem a couple of weeks ago. It's Katana Kami A Way of the Samurai Story and it's been out for ages on Switch and I only discovered it about six months ago. It's got a really interesting hybrid gameplay style. Now on the one hand it's got action segments with a hundred different weapons and nine different fighting styles but you do that combat almost in like dungeons where you go out and fight and you're fulfilling requests for various people around the town but the town also has three different factions and it will show you which faction well basically the current standings of those factions was very cool is you can give a friend a controller and play a bit of it in co-op during those dungeon segments. It's super cheap at the minute, it's $5.99, that's 80% off until February the 8th. I've been waiting for the very cool hybrid RPG Dodgeball Academia to pop its little cheeky head up again and it is finally back in the US sale, it's 50% off until February the 8th. And this is the game that helped me get over Sports Story, which was a complete mess when it came out. And then they put out five patches and it got slightly better, but I don't know if you remember, there was a, a hidden area that basically said that they were working under terrible conditions and stuff. And then that got like, did it get removed? And they were like, oh, it was only a joke. And you're like, yeah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> And the actual base game was just such a conflated mess, which is really upsetting because Golf Story was amazing. But anyway, if you're after something a little different, the RPG mode here is quality, really enjoyable as you work your way across the, the campus. But it also has those dodgeball matches in there. They're actually very addictive. Great little game, only 748 megs. It would take about 10 to 15 hours to finish, which is the perfect length in my experience and opinion for this style of game. To make your lives easier, I'm also going to recap any sales that are still active from the last episode. First up, we've got Human Full Flat. That's 70% off, and that goes on until February the 8th. Disco Elysium is on sale in the American regions until January the 29th, a lovely little isometric adventure. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is 50% off. That goes on until January the 29th in all regions. World War Z, that's 75% off until January the 29th if you want a Left 4 Dead-style cooperative action game featuring lots of zombies, then that might be a nice choice in the American regions. Eastwood is still on sale in the EU, that's 40% off. An action-adventure game featuring a guy called John and a girl called Sam in a post-apocalyptic world where they have to travel east. The Arkham Trilogy is 40% off in the American regions. I said that, yes, we know it's got some bugs for games like Night, but still, 40% off is a reasonable price to ask for the amount of content here. The excellent After Image is 40% off, that's one of my favourite Metroidvanias of last year. It's a little conflated at times but the combat I thought was brilliant and it's had a number of patches since it first came out. The Grandia HD collection was 50% off until January the 29th in the American regions, a classic RPG. And Dead Cells the Medley of Pain bundle here in the EU is a tasty 30% off and you're getting the full Dead Cells experience. I've already seen at least three comments of people saying oh I finally picked it up I thought it wouldn't be for me and I haven't put it down since. That takes us on to the Savaloy selection which are the games that are essentially a little bit cheaper than others but hopefully little gems. I need some more dishes to mention I've done my fet cook, I've done my pasty, my pasty, my pasty and chips. But we've got Hard West, that's just 219, 89% off. A nice little isometric game that has that tactical turn-based combat. Sheltered, which I absolutely loved, and you basically create a fallout shelter and have all your family living in it create the different people you want in there there are also scenarios for you to run and then people turn up at your door you're trading doing all the standard things from these kind of simulation survival games that's just 80 percent off down to two pound 59 but the us yeah once again you've got the better deals here you got lost in random at 90 percent off that's a great adventure game broken age at 80 percent off 
one of the best comebacks for the adventure and point and click genre that I've seen, and certainly a precursor to the new Monkey Island games. This one features two protagonists and you play as both of them, and a quite relaxing little indie, I, don't, I guess you'd call it like an adventure slash, you can't call it a walking simulator because you're flying, flying simulator, it's called Inner Space, that's 90% off down to $1.99, a very relaxing experience. So that's it for this week. As I said at the start, if you want to win one of those copies of Prince of Persia, well, the last copy of it, leave your comments down below. We've also got a Nintendo Switch OLED that we need to give away. That's a weird problem to have, isn't it? We need to give it away. And congratulations to Erin who won the last one. I got an email from her today just saying thank you so much, it's arrived. And a photo of her, her cat and her OLED, all of them looking equally happy. So happy days. Thanks to all of you that enjoy the content, to our Patreons and our members. And as always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!